Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about HomePod. Yes, HomePod has been really controversial for my channel, you know, because Spotify support for HomePod is still pending. What are you doing, Red Federici? You good, bro. Apple has still not added Spotify support to HomePod Mini. Yes, in this new HomePod OS update, we still don't have the Spotify update. Yes, I know I already uh, just talked about it in the starting of this video. I should have talked about in the middle of this video, but just want to be clear and just crystal clear basically. All right, now let's talk about what's new in this update. Is it worth installing this update? How to install this update on your home pod? And if you don't see that update, how to get this update? My name is Jay. You are watching Tech Hyped. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button because we are really close to 10k and I want to get to 10k as soon as we can. Thank you so much for your support. Let's get into this video. So, in order to update your home pod, you just have to go to the home app and after going in the home app you have to follow all these steps that i'm doing in front of your screen so after opening the home app you just have to go on your home pod and after going on your home pod just click on home settings and after clicking on home settings scroll down a little bit and then you will see the software update section if you don't see it you will probably see it but if you don't just restart the app and you will see that all right and then it will take some time to check the home pod updates if your home pod is on the wi-fi is on the same wi-fi it will take some time of course it should be on the same wi-fi all right if it is not then you should get this thing on the same wi-fi connection remember the updates on homepod can take up to 10 to 15 minutes because homepod you know these are not like our phones these are speakers these are not designed to be updated like every few weeks it will take some time to install this update because the processor on homepod is just noticeably slower than our phones and uh, also it just takes some time on homepod to get a updated for some reason all right now let's talk about if you are not seeing this update you have to just restart your home pod and after doing that just restart your home app basically just kill, kill the home app and open that app again then do the same steps if you still don't see it you probably are on the latest update homepod automatically updates in background if you have it connected 24 7 it have probably updated automatically but if you it is still not updated you have to wait for some time it will show up eventually so how to check that uh on which firmware your home pod is on so what you have to do is just long press on your home pod then go to settings and then scrolling down you will see the manufacturer serial number model wi-fi address and then in the bottom you will see the version which is 15.3 the latest one now talking about what's new in this update so what's new is first of all there are some bug fixes then airplay is better now yes i know you guys do face a lot of airplay issues day to day even i do and before you guys just comment down below that your home pod looks so bad i want to say that yes i know it looks that bad in indian households it does tend to get that dirty it's just not me who have such a dirty home pod i have some friends who have such a bad looking home pod all right we just want to focus on the home pod update all right it does not matter how it looks just don't look at it <laughs> anyways the response time seems to be a bit better with this update because i have noticed when i say hey s-i-r-i it does respond to me a tiny bit faster than the previous update yes it can just be me but uh, uh yes I, it does respond to you a bit faster than previous then talking about siri yes the voice of siri is a bit tweaked too i did it took like uh, 15 20 minutes to notice this because uh it was just a teeny bit tweaked it is not like really tweaked a lot it is just a bit more better and bit more clear now so if you talk to siri a lot basically it will sound much better now all in all there is not a lot which is different with this update there are just some tiny few bug fixes and changes in this update there is no spotify support added there is no soundcloud support added nothing is added basically it is just a s update all right it's just focused on speed bug improvements and i mean bug fixes uh, and stability update on your home pod now is it worth installing this update on your home pod the answer is yes this update is uh, definitely worth installing you are not losing anything neither are you gaining anything so i don't think so it is a loss in fact it is just a bit more stable and a bit more better so there is no loss all right you just have to install it there are no batteries in your home pod so you don't have to worry about battery 
uh, that's pretty much it for this video if you did find this video informative helpful entertaining consider hitting that subscribe button because we are really close to 10k subscribers and i want to get to 10k as soon as we can thank you so much for watching this video i will catch you guys in the very next one peace out and have a great day everyone